Hey guys, it's Mystic here. Um, just a couple of shoutouts before I get started. One to Dokyoto Tim for gifting me a one day UMP to do a review on for the GPU review. Um, I will do a review on that when I get a chance. Um, I'll do the footage for it and I'll do a review when I get a chance on it. Um, and also need to do a shout out to um, Little Dictator Dylan, another clan member who says stalking your mum. Hi, he sent me an AK-47. He's obsessed with Russian guns and Russia. We call him Russian Dylan because we have another Dylan who's American. So I will do a review on that Dylan when I get a chance as well. I uh, bought an AA-12 to do a review on for today, Monday's review, and Mr. Tank Freight, and I get a famous G2 SE. So that'll be the NX where I do a review on on Friday, and I'll activate the uh, AA-12 now I think, and do a review on that for you and post it on YouTube. So enjoy the review guys. Hey guys, it's Mystic here, um, bringing you a review on the AA-12 shotgun. I'm um, just in a four-man army with some clanmates, uh, Addy, Fernando, and <laughs> there goes Fernando on the bow right there, and Tim. Um, I kept the game small because I'm not really used to using a shotgun, and I was lagging horribly last night. So it's just after that update that they did for the daylight savings, uh, wraps plus combat arms equals me failing more than normal. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, the AA-12 shotgun, as you can see, it's very accurate and powerful. Um, I'll get to the stats shortly. It was, uh, apparently the AA-12 shotgun is one of the only shotguns in the world that was redesigned, it was completely designed from scratch, like, apparently a lot of, uh, a lot of weapons are just modified from older weapons, but the AA-12 was completely constructed by someone's brilliant idea and it, uh, uh, the real life AA-12 fires extremely fast and in the game it still fires extremely fast. It is faster than the uh, M4 Supernani which I did a review on not too long ago and unlike the M4 Supernani which is a two hit kill this is usually a three to four hit um, if they were in a heavy vest. It can be a two hit it can even be a one hit kill if you're close enough to them like um, I was in a cold seed game and someone was smacked straight bang in front of me they just spawned had full HP and I shot them once in the chest and that's it they were dead uh, they had no vests on whatsoever though so uh, portability wise the guns are so very portable it's very light um, it's fully automatic so you can spray and like the M4 Supernani you can't tap faster than you can spray it so just go full auto uh, each clip has 20 bullets in it so it can fire uh, 40 shots all up so it's it's pretty uh, pretty beastly uh, shotgun the uh, damage on it is 67 the portability is 61 so it is pretty portable it's actually more portable than 61 um, I would probably say it's more around 70, 75, if anything. Um, Red Fire is 30. It is a lot faster than that. A lot faster, as you can see. It's like, you know, two and a half shots a second. I mean, it really is a rape gun. It is excellent for kill stealing. Um, the recoil is 55, but it's a shotgun, so recoil doesn't really exist. Um,. It is really, like, it's extremely accurate. Um, it's one thing that it doesn't actually list on the Combat Arms website is accuracy. But it is very accurate. Uh, in Here in Power Surge, if you're standing on, say, this side, and you're shooting to the other side, and each person is on the very edge, like, say, someone's on the edge of those steps and someone's on the edge of the, uh, the platform over on the right-hand side here, you could hit them with the AA-12 and not miss and most of the bullets would actually hit them. Um, that's how damn accurate this actually is. 
and I don't know why, but for some reason my combat arms changed back to 800 by 600 or 640 or whatever. Um, resolution, and I didn't realize until uh, <laughs> until about an hour ago actually that it changed back. Um, actually, if anyone knows why on Windows 7 combat arms with my new graphics card. When I'm on the main menu or whatever, or in the lobby, it will display in um, 600 by 800. But in gameplay, it's the proper uh, 1440 by 900 resolution. It's strange. Um, yes, Addy, I do know you too well. Um, I'll show you a bit later on in this video what the uh, the spread on the guns actually like because it, the bullets stay bulked up. So when you shoot someone, there's not a lot of room to to really miss. Of course, if you miss, you miss most of the bullets. They stay very collected and bulked up, which makes this shotgun all the more powerful. Uh, other than the M4 Super 90, where the bullets spread out more, so you can still clip someone with your bullets with an M4 Super 90 and hit them. Whereas with the AA-12, if you hit someone, you're hitting them with pretty much every bullet in that gun. Um, as you can see, it really pumps a lot into them, and it's it's just uh, luck whether you kill someone or not with two hits, or whether it takes four or five, because it just varies so greatly. Um, what else is there? Um, I'm not actually sure what else to talk about. Um, the uh, the actual appearance of the A12 is very sleek. Um, it was actually designed like the way it looks is exactly how it looks in real life, and it was designed like this, so it requires like very minimal maintenance at all. Um, it's, like it's designed to last years and years and years without a lot of maintenance. I like most weapons where you have to maintain them, which is actually a feature that, I don't know, would that be a good feature in combat arms to have to maintain your weapons? I mean, I still reckon there should be a grip feature to, that lowers like recoil and stuff so you can hold on to your gun tighter. Um, you know, people like Horza that have that big muscle bulk should be able to hold on to their guns to lower the recoil. Whereas people like Viper who have like no, ma no uh, muscle mass, blah, that's hard to say, um, should have more recoil because they're so small. Or people like Addy who I just killed. You know, their character models are extremely small. Um, that's the other thing I get that annoys me in combat arms is when people argue that females have smaller hitboxes than males. They do, and they do move faster. I've been both. So, um, yeah, as I was saying, the uh, the bullets on this gun, like, when you shoot, it stays very collected, even at long ranges. I mean, you see when I hit the uh, the shipping container just there, I don't know if you'll see it on YouTube, but it stayed collected in a group. It is so small. So, it's it's definitely a uh, a really good shotgun. It's it's my personal favorite. Like if I choose between M4 Super 90 and the AA12 for a shotgun, I would choose the AA12. It shoots faster. It's fully automatic. Uh, the bullets stay collected. Like I'm nearly hitting Addy there. She's just a tiny bit out of range, but right there, see, headshot from all the way up there. And you do get a lot of headshots with it. You aim high, you will get a headshot, which is obviously a one-hit kill. Um, there's no real shotguns I can compare it to. The best I could do is an M4 Super 90, which I've been doing, and while the M4 Super 90 does more damage, the speed and accuracy and the spread of the bullets on an AA-12 just make it all that much better. Um, I think it's, it's a very it's very much a beast shotgun. And, uh, yeah, I would definitely choose... <laughs> Hattie's going to bitch because I destroyed her box. I would definitely choose it over an M4 Super 90 any day, hands down. Um, she's. I'm not really sure what else to say about this weapon. Um, 
I'm not sure if I've passed it yet in this video. At some point I do shoot a war and I'll show you the, the spread of the uh, the AA-12 and how the bullets come out. But um, yeah, compared to all the GP shotguns, I mean, obviously you buy an NX weapon, it's going to be better than a GP weapon, majority of the time. And the AA-12 is definitely better than any GP shotgun. Uh, apart from probably the Sega is actually a really good weapon I should be comparing this to. The Sega 20K um, is definitely a beast shotgun. But, again, I haven't used the Sega enough to be able to compare to it. Um, I'll just get its statistics up now and, and just do a quick comparison. But you also got to remember that there's the NX Rare version of the Sega 20K which is the CQB camo. There's actually, there's always a GP standard version. Um, there's two GP standards actually. But the Sega has a slower rate of fire uh, by about 10 points. So yeah, the AA-12 is definitely going to be a better shotgun, uh, if not one of the best shotguns in the game. But then don't take my gameplay footage for it because, as I've said, I'm not all that crash hot with shotguns. But if you know how to use an M4 Super 90, definitely get your hands on an AA-12 and try it out. Um, see, I'm just missing, but if I was shooting Addy when she was just in front of that yellow bar, it would have hit. That's the range of the AA-12 at its maximum. Um, yeah, you can miss quite a lot, but the fact that you have like 20 bullets in the in the magazine before you actually have to oh, kill steel. Um, before you have to reload, and the reload is so fast. I mean, I can't get over how fast the reload is on the AA-12. So the M4 Super 90, you put each bullet in at a time. The AA-12, take the magazine off, chuck it away, put the new one on, clip it in, you're ready to go again. 20 more bullets. And I did a few other games before this, I was getting multis and stuff with the AA-12. I won't show you the footage of those, because I was pretty tired when I made it. Uh -huh. This is the last kill here. Um, I do recommend this review. Stay tuned for the, uh, in a nutshell. <laughs> in a nutshell, guys, the AA-12 is definitely a beast shotgun. Um, very, very fast fire rate. Uh, pretty good damage. It is less damage than in M4 Super 90, but the fire rate and the accuracy more than makes up for it. The bullets stay clumped together when you shoot them, no matter how far it's going, so you've got a pretty good distance to, pretty good range to uh, hit someone. You can nearly shoot um, coast to coast in Junk Fleet without a problem. Nearly. Keep that in mind, nearly shoot coast to coast. Um, you probably get about three quarters across the Junk Fleet map without missing. And you can get a headshot of that range, as you saw in the review if you watched it. Um, other than this, the M4 Super 90 and Sega 20K is definitely probably the next two best shotguns in the game. But the AA-12 is definitely beast. High portability, high fire rate, uh, pretty good damage, and 20 bullets per magazine, so 40 bullets all up. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the review, and NX, uh, GP review coming Wednesday and NX Rare review coming on Friday.